In today's episode of the podcast, we're having a little bit of a party. Woohoo! No, I haven't got any music on. <laughs> there is a danger sometimes if because this, this podcast goes out in a few different distribution channels. I risk putting music into this episode and it's not like royalty free music, then it might get flagged as a copyright infringement. So you're going to have to put some music on for yourself because today we are having a party. Now, if you're a long time listener, then you will have come across this particular party before, but I have not, I don't think I've talked about it in any great detail on the podcast before. I might have mentioned it in passing, but so I wanted to dedicate a whole episode to the I Did It party. Now, I don't know even if you're a long-time listener, I don't know if you're aware of the origins of this party. It all started, I want to say, about five years ago. Erica Liamark from The Daily Whip, she's a business coach and mastermindy type person. Um, I don't think she does it as much anymore, but at the time, she was doing a lot of group coaching, and I was in a couple of different programs with her. She's really smart, really entertaining, great fun, but she, there was a particular quote uh, it's her quote, I guess. She, she put this thing on Twitter because this is back in the days when we all used to tweet, of course. <laughs> now we don't tend to go on Twitter anymore. I don't anyway. Um, I occasionally post on there, but I'm not really on Twitter that much. Uh, but she put this, tw- this, this tweet and the tweet said, don't have a pity party, have an I did it party. And this ties in very, very closely with this week's focus on those times when things don't go according to plan. Because there is this very natural and understandable and human temptation that you, if you put yourself out there in a big way and you, you share stuff and you, you know, you're being really all in and fully committed and then things don't quite go according to plan. There is this very easy temptation to go, Oh, woe is me. What did I do wrong? Why me? What, what, what's wrong with my life and my business? Why should this, the pity party. And so instead of having a pity party, I want to remind you today to have an I did it party. And this ties in with yesterday's episode where we talked about spiraling upward, where we find the silver lining. So all of this is connected together. But consciously choosing to go, right, rather than, I mean, yes, feel the disappointment, okay? If if you've poured your heart and soul into something and you've put all this effort in, acknowledge the fact that, you know what, it's really annoying. I'm really frustrated. It didn't go according to plan. It, it's annoying. I wish, you know, you might find yourself wishing, oh, I wish I hadn't done this, this and that, or the energy and the time I could have done that, that and that instead. That's fine. Okay. Feel those feelings, express those feelings, you know, in your support network, share that frustration. Fine. But don't sit in it because then we want to turn it around into an I did it party. Because even on those weeks when you feel like you did all this stuff and it didn't go according to plan, guess what? You still did all that stuff. Maybe you took yourself out of your comfort zone. Maybe you tried showing up in ways that are new for you. Maybe you reached out to people where you don't normally do that. Whatever the context is for you, and you'll have to fill in the blanks there because I, you know, I'm, I share this but I need you to to do a bit of work too, because I don't know your specific situation. But whatever that looks like for you, I want you to, to take time today to celebrate and acknowledge and congratulate yourself for all the things that you did do. Okay? Fine, feel the feelings, but then move forward. What did you do? How did you show up? What ways were you consistent in ways that you're not normally consistent? All of those things, celebrate them. Why? Two reasons. There's often two reasons, aren't there, in these episodes, I'm just realizing. Two reasons. Reason number one, it will feel good. It will lift you. It will make you feel happier and you'll be ending the week on a much more positive note. And in that moment of feeling that, yeah, do you know what? I didn't do so badly after all. I did this and that and that. Those warm feelings, enjoy those warm feelings. Don't rush past them. Enjoy them. And I would encourage you as well, Don't just like do this as a mental exercise in your head. Maybe make a bit of a celebration of it. Go outside, get some fresh air and really relish those feelings of, do you know what? I am so proud of myself for this, this and this. Feel those feelings and notice where in your body you feel those feelings and enjoy that. There's a second part of it ties in with my my pet, one of my pet favorite topics, the reticular activating system. By by really enjoying those feelings and consciously noticing, noticing them and embracing them, you are signaling to your brain that you would like more of the same, please. 
Okay, and that's important because as I've told you before, your brain will filter in the things that it thinks are important. So the more that you practice holding on to those feelings and enjoying those feelings, the more of that your brain will filter in. So it's like a double win. And so before you know it, you will become the irrepressible silver lining spotter. You will find yourself naturally going, okay, that went wrong, but I did this. The more you do it, the more practiced you will become at it and the easier it will become. That's why it can sometimes feel like a self-fulfilling prophecy, negatively and positively. You know, you, you, you come across people who it seems to be one thing after another after another doesn't go right. Um, and I'm not suggesting for one minute that they're thinking their way into those negative situations. I don't buy that for a minute. Life happens, stuff happens. But you know, it, we can spiral downwards, but you can flip it. And so I want to encourage you, if you're not practiced, if, you've ne- if you don't regularly have an I did it party, it's time to, to, to start, okay? Have an I did it party. Go on, you know, we might start using the hashtag a little bit more, perhaps on social media as well, um, because we, we want to be celebrating those wins, big, small, and in between, Because like I say, it will lift you in the moment. It also lifts other people as well. So it's like a win-win scenario. You'll be infecting all the people around you with good stuff. So that's a really positive thing too. But it really will signal to your brain that that stuff is important and it will help filter in more of the same. Okay, excellent. Give it a go. And then if you find it challenging, if you are somebody that decides, actually, I'd like, I'd like some help applying this to my specific situation, I would encourage you to book a time for the two of us to, to share virtual coffee. So if you go to faithandbusinessplayground.com forward slash talk, you'll see um, a little box on there where you can pick a time after Easter where the two of us can, can share virtual coffee. Other hot drinks are available in your kitchen, one assumes. It doesn't have to be coffee, but we can chat about it and see and get really concrete, specific examples of how you can apply this to your own situation. In the meantime, as ever, thank you for listening. I look forward to catching up with you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.